Um, you know, I, I, I like, you know, for, for me personally, it's, you know, different perspective, you know, looking at spacing, route combinations, got a really good group, um, guys that are hungry, that are competing. There's eight guys that are all working back there, so, um, you know, really excited about all of them. Was there a big adjustment for you in moving back to coaching the safety? No, not really. You know, I, I didn't know what it was going to be like the first day on the field, obviously, because you're looking, you know, when you're coaching linebackers, it's all protections and run game to start. You know, when you're coaching safeties, it's all spacing and route combinations to start. So different perspective, but, no, I think it, it, it's been smooth. You know, I got, uh, I got Coach, uh, you know, Devin Bush with me, you know, so, you know, he's, uh, it's, an easy, it's easy to lean on him if I need to. So he's awesome and, and been great with it too, and he's, you know, played at the highest level. Um, at the position, so that always helps. But no, it's been good. You know, I think it's the transition's been really good. I enjoy it. Josh Metellus uh, took a little heat last year, but it sounds like he had a really good spring. He even played some corner at times in uh, scrimmages. He, he did for a day. Yeah, yeah we okay. had to move him out there for a day. He did a hell of a job. Um, you know, I don't know about the heat he took, yeah. but you know, he's uh, he, he's had a really good spring for us. You know, I, I really uh, I appreciate him. He comes to work every day. Um, you know, he's he's a, he's an athlete that you know can play at a high level and uh, that's what we expect out of him and that's you know we you know I talk to them moving forward you know and um and just got to get him playing at a high high level and that's and I expect that this year. What specific areas of improvement have you seen the safeties make over spring practices? Um yeah I mean uh, it's funny because it comes from linemen but one of the ways I wanted to really improve those guys was in physicality you know we do a lot of um you know, things to improve their physicality, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, getting off blocks and not allowing receivers to block us and things. And that's been a, a vast improvement, I think. And it's easy for me because linebackers, that's what, that's what you do, you know. So, um, you know, that, that's been really good. Um, I wanted to really get detailed with their footwork. You know, every break means something. The way you break on a route, um, every step means something. The angles you take, um, we've really honed down on, on the, the really basics of, of that stuff. Um, in the winter, we really went to like speed school, essentially, you know, we're breaking on a route or breaking on the ball, you know, it's all about your directional step, gaining ground and, um, and pointing in the right direction with your first two steps. So, you know, I, I think they've gotten faster in that stuff throughout the winter and the spring, which, which, um, which is good as well. When you say speed school, is that something you worked with Ben Herbert? I mean, to say, come up with something that's going to develop? Uh, well, he, he does his own thing, you know, but when we get them, it's, it's, it's different. I'm not talking about their straight line mm -hmm. speed. That's Ben and their, their agility and all that. I'm talking about, you know, balls thrown out there, See. pointing your directional foot, gaining ground with your other foot, you know, so you break better, you know. We call it don't Flintstone, you know. Some people teach where you just go up and down with your feet before you break. We want to gain ground immediately. So that's what I'm talking about. Don't you know, Flintstone? It's more fl yeah, <laughs> Flintstone. Flintstone. Because you know how, like, yeah, they yeah. run and Fred. Uh, yeah. yeah, Fred runs. And, <laughs> yeah. We don't like that, so... <laughs> Um, so that's when I'm talking more football related. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been, they're awesome too. They've done an incredible job. You know, overall strength and speed of the team's been awesome too. Who are you? Third, go ahead. You've been here pretty much since, since Jim first got here. What's it like now to have those guys who the first wave who came in as the leaders and the, the guys who kind of set the tone? Um, in terms of the players, yeah. like um, yeah, I mean it's 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 really good to see see you know these guys develop that you know we've uh, we've recruited from the beginning and see where they're at and and you know how they've matured and grown you know it's really our first real class with you know that the guys that are going into their third year and those are the leaders of the team right now and it's an awesome class and they're hungry to win and you know they came here to win a championship and now it's getting to that pinnacle where it's like you know put up or shut up so um, you know the way they've been working they're, they're planning on putting up so I'm more excited about that. We yeah. haven't heard a ton about Jamaric, uh, yeah. and uh, who are your third and fourth guys right now behind Tyree and, and Josh? I mean, I just I really have a bunch of guys working. Um, you know, I, I'm not really categorizing one, two, three, four. Um, they're all working together. Um, you know, I, I just I feel like Tyree, Josh, Jamaric, Brad Hawkins. Um, Jalen Kelly Powell, you know, Lou Grodman has had a hell of a spring. I'm excited about what he's been able to do. I mean, he was, he started last Saturday with the ones. Josh moved the corner, well, here comes Lou Grodman, you know, and number 32, it looks like Jordan Kovacs out there. So, um, you know, so those guys are all really working, and I'm not saying, hey, this is the one, this is the two. We're just, we're trying to just get them to work together and be, you know, be a whole group together, and then we'll let that sort out the week before the first game. What, what, have your, what, what have the wide receivers done to kind of challenge the safeties and help them grow? Um, I mean, we're playing against the real deal out there. You know, those guys are really good football players. So, you know, the, the biggest thing is every single time you line up, you better be ready to go. 
you know, because you'll get burnt, you know. So it's, uh, you know, it's it's really good, you know. I think those guys are running around and playing so fast, and they're all a year older. You know, those four freshmen that came in last year, it's a whole different ball game with them, you know, because it's just a year of growth for those guys. So that it's it's a challenge every day in practice, which is what you want. That, that's speed goal, speed school thing. Going back to that, is that something you picked up from other coaches? You know, studying what they do with their players. Um, you know. I, I don't know. I, I, I just, yeah, I, I guess, right? I pick everything up from other coaches or else, you know, you wouldn't know. You know, you just, w w looking into, you know, looking into safety play and getting guys at the highest level. You know, we look at a lot of NFL stuff. Those guys play at the highest level. The schemes relate. So um, looking at how those guys play and how they break on the ball so fast and, you know, with quarterbacks that are throwing lasers, it's like, well, what, why are they any different? You know, why, what do we need to do to get like those guys and be able to break on routes and understand? So, you know, it was just they don't have any false steps. You know, they don't run in place before they break. Every step is, is optimal. And uh, so that's one thing is I was like, hey, I got to coach safeties now. I'm going to go talk to and see, look at as much stuff as I could. That was one of the things I wanted to focus on is getting every step optimal for those guys. Who did you talk to? I, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's easy here with Coach Harbour to get, get mm. connects in the NFL. I mean, that's easy. So, you know, I talk to as many people as I can. Um, I also have this thing where I like talking to small school coaches, mm -hmm. especially on special teams and even at the safeties because, you know, those guys, you know, they might not get the talent. And they, they also, on the other side of things, need to make sure they coach guys that are maybe a little slower than, than so a they receiver they're playing. Yeah. So um, I try to stay talking and, and communicating with people. D2, D, what's a small school? Um, you know, we had, shoot, we had Bethune Cookman in here. We had Columbia. Um, I'm trying to think. Last year had Toledo in. Um, I went out to West Point for a couple days. Um, you know, just, just schools like that. West Point this winter? Did you go out there this Yeah, winter? I did, yes. And yeah. it's because they're developing guys who aren't as maybe talented as the guys you're getting. You're yeah, you just like like what they're doing. You know, you see it on film, you watch them, and you just like what they're doing. So it's you just try to, you know, get with them, call them up and say, hey, you want a clinic? You want to talk some football and stuff? So, you know, it's just they, they caught my eye. All those people, they caught my eye. Mm -hmm. You know, the connections you make, you, they catch your eye, and you want to go talk to them. You're seeing more consistency from your punters, and, and what's the uh, how are they doing? Um... Well, they're a year older, mm -hmm. so right away, yes. You know, um, you know, it's funny because everyone's like, "Well, what? punt the ball, you just kick it." Well, <laughs> you know, we're a pro-style directional team. You know, uh, and some of the NFL guys have trouble with that. So, what we put on these guys is not easy. So, when they come in and they're young, it's it's a lot. It's a whirlwind of stuff because it's not like, "Hey, you're just catching and punting the ball." Snaps are faster. The rush is faster. We're actually asking them to put it on a spot. So um, so just that year has been has been really good for those guys. Um, you know, and they've matured, both of them. I really, really, really like both of those guys and then the way that they, they've attacked the spring. Chris, you had an interesting offseason personally. I mean, you flirted with Alabama. You got serious. <laughs> How serious was that, and, and why did you come back? <laughs> I mean, I kind of put that, that to rest, but I'll answer. Uh, you know, I mean, I guess – the biggest thing is this is a place I wanted to be. You know, I came back for for the players. I came back because it's to me. It's like, well, we can do everything that we want to do here. We can win a national championship. I love the school. I think the environment, the people I work with. You know, it's like, well, hey, I can go and move on and 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 coach for another great coach, but. You know, I, I just felt like I didn't need to make this whole thing a rat race and jump to the next job. I see that all over the place in college football, and I wanted to just be different. And, and you know, there was really no reason. You know, it's easy for me to decide to stay. It would have been harder to leave, no matter what the job was. So, um, you know, and I you know the guys that I've recruited that I have a really good relationship with. You know, I just felt like it's it was better for me to see it out and, um, and see if we can you know do what we come together to to want to do, you know, and I appreciate Jim. I got I to gotta be loyal to him. He gave me a shot, you know, and not a, not a lot of people could have, would have gave a, a high school coach a shot. So, you know, um, if Jim, walk into Jim's office, coach, you want me to stay? Absolutely. Well, okay, I'm going to be loyal to you, you know. It's, so that's a big part of it, too. How flattering was it that Alabama came? I mean, it is uh, a, it's... Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, you're talking about a team that just won the national championship. So, obviously, it's like, you know, it's, it's a shock at first, Um you know, and, and it's it's it would have been the ability to work with another great coach and see a different perspective. But at the same time, you know, I kind of love what what's going on here. So, yeah, but it was flattering for sure.
time for a couple more for Chris. Chris, is Donovan still taking pumps? Or? Yeah, he is, of course. And, and he looks like uh, way more comfortable there. You know, it's funny. Going into last year, I had three different people tell me, do not start a freshman punt returner. <laughs> Don't do it. But he was the best we had, and we wanted to live with it. We were so young across the board. You know, we were kind of – we had a first-year snapper, first-year punter, you know, first-year, you know, um, kicker. So it was essentially like, you know what, what's one more first-year guy? So we were going to live <laughs> through it. He had some highs and lows, um, you know, but I think he got better through the, the – fall. I actually just told him in the meeting today he's catching the ball better than, than he was at any time last year. He's just more comfortable. That's a hard thing to do. And it's, for a freshman, it's like, well, you're reading the nose of the ball, the wind factor, and there's a lot of things that go into that. He's now getting comfortable in that. So, and we got some, you know, we got, we're pretty dynamic back there. We're moving to, towards, you know, instead of having one Jabril and, oh, my God, what happens if Jabril gets hurt? And then Donovan and, all right, we have Grant and Grant went down. Oh, no, you know, what are we going to do? Now we have a little stable of guys that are comfortable back there. Who else is in the yeah. stable? Um, I like what Oliver Martin's been doing. Um, I like what David Long's been doing. Um, Grant's back. You know, Grant Perry's back and healthy, and he's back there. Um, I like what Chris Evans is doing back there. So it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a nice group back there. Get some Pretty new, dynamic. Sorry. You got, you got some uh, new assistant coaches in. and How quickly do you have to adjust to them and, and get to learn them on the recruiting trail? Because you guys were right, right in the middle of all that. Of when, course. When they were, when they were well, in there. let me just say something. The coaches that are in here right now, you talk about those are five-star coaches. You know, that is – these guys are unbelievable to work with. You know, it's just, just their energy, the way they approach everything, the way they coach. You know, it's, it's just the, the – the all-encompassing, you know, just understanding the whole game. You know, you, these are guys that, like, you know, for instance, Al or Sharon, special teams-wise, it's like, all right, well, we want to do a circuit today, but things, you know, well, what do you want to do? Well, you're just going to do the class drill, for instance. Well, they can just do it. You know, it's not like i got to sit down and show everything and, and take a lot of time. You know, these guys are, are ball coaches, so I'm really excited for those. You know, they're, they're awesome, and they've gotten us better, so much better. You know, especially just, you know, and I'm talking mostly special teams because that's where I really work with them. Al, obviously, is, you know, coaching, you know, on the defensive side. But the other guys, it's, you know, Coach, Coach Max coaching the returners. You know, I mean, it's like, holy cow. You know, I ain't got to tell that guy anything. It's like, Coach, you got the returners. Go do it. Do your thing. You know, and those guys look great. So, you know, that's just, it takes a lot of, a lot of pressure off for sure. Um, those guys are great. And on the recruiting trail, they work. They get it. They take pride in it. They love it. You know, so it's, it's been awesome. It really quick has. to adapt to the philosophy you guys have, because you've talked in the past about how important the relationships and like mentoring yep. kids, whether they come here or not, yep. is to you. So they kind of fit into that philosophy oh, yeah, as well. For sure, for sure. You know, you constantly hear these guys on the phone and talking to kids, and um, you know, it, it's and it's easy. You know, you're, you're recruiting a position, and when they can say, you know, hey, we're recruiting a guy. Oh, Coach Moore is awesome. I talked to him last night. It's like, Phew. you know, because it's so hard to recruit one. You know, one coach cannot recruit one guy anymore. You know, you need multiple coaches on each kid. You know, that, that relationship needs to be fostered. So um, it's just, it's way easier when those guys, when you know those other people are talking to them and recruiting them and things like that. It's, it's been, those guys have been incredible. You targeting That's anybody in Paris? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no one in Paris. But I'm excited. That trip's going to be great, too. Really excited for that.